The objective with elk here on the Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge is to try to manage a, a herd, a representative herd of elk in under as natural a conditions as we possibly can. Elk were once native in this area and were exterminated in about the 1890s and were brought back in in 1911 and 1912. Uh, we, we here at the refuge have an objective level for about 300 elk, 380 head of elk, with uh, half of them being bulls and half of them being cows. Each year we do have a hunt that we have to remove excess animals and the reason that we do remove animals from the herd is the fact that under our management objectives here we also have herds of longhorn cattle, buffalo, whitetail deer and all of them share the same range. And in this area, which that means that, that what's available as food out here as far as grass and, and trees and stuff is utilized by all animals and it will only support so many. So each year we do have to hold the herds of each one down and hunting is a method that we use to control our elk population here at the refuge. The hunt each year is, is held generally uh, in November, December of each year weekly hunts depending on how many hunters are chosen to try to reach our objective level. And the uh, hunters are selected by a drawing conducted by the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation. The hunt on, uh, is a cooperative effort between the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and Wichita Mountains Wildlife Refuge and the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation. And both groups uh, help bring hunters out to the field and, and take them into different areas to hunt. The Wildlife Department is real proud of the Wichita Mountains hunt. It's, we consider it one of the premier hunts in the state. The Wildlife Department it has a cooperative role in the hunt where we provide group leaders that go out with hunters, show them the area and are responsible for their care and leadership during the hunt. Um, we also are involved a little bit in the planning and, and other coordination activities. And we're just real proud of Wichita Mountains and, and really enjoy the opportunity to work here, and we're really glad that the sportsmen have a chance to hunt here. It's pretty rugged country as you can see in the background. You need to be in fairly good shape to get around these hills, but I think everybody's having a real good time. I think one of the best parts of this hunt, it's a cooperative effort between the Department of Wildlife and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and using the hunter the taxpayer is an effective management tool in himself, letting him help control the overpopulation of animals and prevent the range from being overused or overgrazed. That's probably one of the greatest aspects of the whole hunt. You're, doing, you're part of the working system. The success ratio of each one of our hunts is generally runs between about 55 and 65 percent on an average year as far as success. The cows seem to be a bit harder to hunt than the bulls. We'll generally run about 80 percent on our bull permits and about 50 to 60 percent on cows depending on the year and weather conditions. Uh, this year, for instance, it's been abnormally warm. Uh, elk tend to stay higher and stay in the trees more during the day. We've also had an excellent year for acorn production and that tends to hold them in the trees. They do not have to come out in the opens to eat. So uh, depending upon conditions, that's generally what our success rate runs. This morning I got out there on the other side of the mountain <clears throat> and I made it, I walked to the top of the mountain and walked there along the top looking at all the sides that I could see trying to find all the openings. And then I walked back around and I made a big circle around this mountain. And then I saw an elk come through here about lunchtime. And then later on, I circled clear around. But later in the evening, I was coming through some of the bottom land down here. And I jumped an elk in the brush. And then I come out in the opening and I saw, I think it was a different animal. And he come up through this way and I was following along the, the route that he had taken. And I come out in these little trees right below us. And there was uh, two five by five elk that were sparring right here in the open, just pretty close to where we're standing. And when I was watching them, I was trying to slip a little bit closer to, to make sure I had a, a good clean shot. 
And this animal walked out of this little trail right here and just walked out here and he milled around a little bit and he came over here and laid down. And I decided he was, they was all about equal size. So I just went ahead and, and chopped this one. And then that's when the work started and uh, it's not completed yet. You have to still have to get him down off the mountain here. Well, mine wasn't very long, just the first day. And I hiked up and down these ridges and canyons for about, oh, I'd say approximately six hours. Seen a lot of white-tailed deer, some real fine deer. Um, and as I was coming in, it was about 4.30, I spotted two bulls about 150 yards away. A large bull, a tremendous animal, great antlers, uh, moved into a canyon. And I believe I'd had to have a, have a helicopter to get him out of there. The other bull lay down at the edge of a field that would be a lot easier to uh, pack the animal out in good condition. So I elected to go for the smaller bull. And uh, uh, the animal was uh, taken at about, oh, I'd say a little after 4.30. And that wound up my hunting experience out here, but I'm... Um, Trying to stay around a few days since I'd planned to camp out anyway to help other people that might need some assistance. It's an outstanding hunt. The people are really nice, they know the business, and they're well, really well in tune with the hunter's needs and making sure the game and wildlife is taken care of. The facility is excellent here, and I think our tax dollars are well spent.